Good morning, Tanvina Khan is here. In TK Maths is fun. In today's video, I will explain to you the concept of cumulative frequency, which is a part of the syllabus of O-level mathematics 4024. Uh, before I begin, you can see on the top my website address, tkmaths.com, and my blog address, tkmathsisfun.blogspot.com. Do visit it and you will find it very useful. There are many free videos and lots of other things are, options are available, which will be very helpful in your learning process of mathematics. So this topic, I want to explain with the help of the question, which I have picked up from November 17, variant 2 to question 2. I will not just solve the question, but I will explain to you the concept in a way so that you are able to attempt more question on the topic. So what is cumulative frequency? Let's see the question. So this question is talking about a company who asked from their employees how long they took to travel to work. And the table is summarized here. Total number of employees, 120 from, uh, from whom the question was asked. Okay. Now frequency distribution table. This is frequency distribution table. You can see frequency is written here. It means 12 employees took time between 0 to 20 minutes. And 28 employees took time between 20 to 40 minutes. So this is frequency distribution table, right? And this is called group interval. Now frequency distribution table is not always on group interval. Sometimes it is on individual data. So this question is on group interval basically. Now if you see the group here is of 20 employees. Here again 20 because 20 to 40 is width of the group is 20. 40 to 60, again 20, 60 to 80, 20, 80 to 100, 20. So it means this is equal group interval, okay? Sometimes it is unequal group interval. Okay, so now first part of the question is saying complete the cumulative frequency table. Now if you see, instead of frequency, now you have cumulative frequency and time is same. Now first thing you must always remember the cumulative frequency curve is plotted on the upper boundary, right? So in each interval, this is the upper boundary. And you, you see this is same. This has to be same. If it is not same, how do we do it? I'll explain it in the other question where it will not be same. So less than zero time, no employees. If you look at here, T is greater than zero. It is not T is greater than equals to, right? So T is greater than zero. So 12 employees took time between zero to 20, whereas 20 is included in this slot. So coming back to it, so cumulative frequency table is plotted on the upper boundary. So if you see first is time less than zero, zero employee. Time less than or equals to 20. So if you see here, what will come here? How many employees took time less than 20? 12 here right now how many employees took time less than 40 minutes so this is 40 if you see all these employees took time less than 40 minutes so it is 12 plus 28 how many employees took time less than 60 minutes so if you look at this less than 60 all these took time less than 60 so that's why for 60 you will add up these and write the answer here for less than 80 all this so i have filled the table here for you so this is how you will complete the table so this is part one of the question second part of the question is saying the grid is given to you in the question and it is all labeled the way i am showing you it was just as it is or only these dot, um, red dots i have marked here so question is saying on the grid draw a smooth cumulative frequency curve I'm just showing you a table here for the quick reference so that we don't have to go back to the previous slide again and again. Like I said, cumulative frequency curve is always plotted on the upper boundary. So 2, 0 and 0 employees. So that's why I've marked here 0, 0. And cumulative frequency is definitely on the y-axis. Frequencies are always marked on the y-axis and actual data is always marked on the x-axis. So my data is actually about the timing each employee took how long so 12 i will mark against 20 so you can see 20 and i'm reading it as 12 
Now you need to understand here one thing, how do you read uh, what is one box equal to? The technique is, if you see how many boxes are here, 20, right? Uh, sorry, the unit written here between 10 boxes is 20. So one, two, three, if you count, after 10 boxes, it is written 20. So what is the reading of one box? You will do 20 divided by 10. So you will get two. It means each box is representing two minutes. I'm repeating. Whatever the difference is written here, that difference divided by number of boxes in between. So it will be 20 divided by two. So you will write 20 divided by two. So each box is two minutes. And similarly here, each box is representing two employees, right? So now I'm marking 40 at 40, so 40 minutes, 40 employees. Similarly, if you see here, 60 minutes, 85 employees. So at 60 minutes, I am marking 85 employees. You can see here, 82, 84, and then half. Half of the boxes, one employee, so 85. Then against 80 minutes, I'm marking at 107. So 102, 104, 106, and 107. So like this, I have put all the marks here, and now I will join them with the smooth curve. So with this, you will just give it a shape, right? So this is your cumulative frequency curve, and the shape of the cumulative frequency curve should be in your mind. It has to be something like this. Okay, so next part of the question is saying, use your curve to estimate the median now you will use the curve median mean what is the meaning of median 50 percent of the data right now what do you mean by 50 percent of the data see here total cumulative frequency was 120 half of 120 is 60 so you will go at 60 and read the time so whatever the time will come at 60 employees that will be your medium time right so when we are talking about median time it means 50 percent of the employee are getting how much time similarly interquartile range what is interquartile range second part of the question is saying use your curve to estimate the interquartile range so interquartile is basically upper quartile minus lower quartile so the time which will come against the reading of upper quartile and from lower quartile you will subtract it now upper quartile means 75 percent and lower quartile mean 25 percent so let's see in the graph what does it mean by the way when you will show this data in the graph you always show with the dotted line right so when I'm finding out median, half of 120 is 60. I would like to mention here one thing. Always look at the graph where it is ending. Sometimes what happens, they write more numbers on the graph here, but graph supposes stop here. So children make mistake of picking up the highest number written here. For example, I write here 150. It doesn't mean my cumulative frequency is 120. It was 120 graph has come till 120. Right? So the half of 120 is 60. So it is 50%, right? Of 120. So I will go and read the time against it, which is something like 49. I have written here. You can see here. Right? So you have to show all these dotted lines. Then upper quartile means 75% of 120, which is 90. So against 90, I'm reading the time, which is 61. Okay, then 25% of 120 is 30. So against 30, I'm reading and it is around uh, 32. So I have written here interquartile range is 61 minus 32. The data you get against upper quartile and lower quartile, you subtract it. Okay, this is how you will plot the graph. And then you will write here, in, in the answer space, give 49 minutes, and the interquartile range of the time is 29 minutes. So this is how you will answer the question. Graph me, you will do dotted line to show your working. 
part C of the question is saying calculate an estimate of the mean time. Now we know the formula of mean. Mean means average. Okay. So now when you have a group data, either it is equal or unequal, you find out the mid value of this, of the interval. That is your x data, right? And that is your frequency. So the formula for the mean time is sigma fx over sigma f. Now, this frequency is my F, right? This frequency is my F, and this data is my X. Okay, so what is the mid value of here? Because I don't know that 12 employees who took time between this, either the time was two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, I don't know their timing. Because in the group interval, this is the disadvantage that you do not know the actual numbers. That's why it is called estimate. Because if I know exactly how many minutes each employee have taken, then I will get the exact mean. But right now it is estimated mean. So we always pick up the mid value. So the mid value between zero and 20 is what? 10, right? It is 10. So you will do, when it is saying sigma fx, sigma means sum, fx means frequency multiplied by data. So you will do 12 multiplied by 10 plus 28 multiplied by, what is the mid value here? It is 30, right? Something is wrong. Okay, so so on, you will multiply frequency by timing, mid value time. So I've written here 10 by 12. Now this black is my mid value of the intervals, right? 30, 50, 70, 90, and I'm multiplying it by frequency. Sigma F mean you will add up all the frequency, and it was also given to you in the question at times, like here, okay, how many employees were there. So with the help of this, you will calculate your mean time. So three parts of the question, and we have done estimated mean. So remember, you will take the mid value, and with this, I will end the video. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, if you have learned something from it, press the like and subscribe button. Bell icon you can press and share it with your friends. They may also learn more um, from these videos. And do visit my blog address or website. You will learn or you will find more videos there. Thank you very much. Take care. Allah Hafiz.